In the previous session, we saw how to configure NetFlow on our campus router and how to export flow records to the collector. Now, let's have a look at the collector. We're going to start off by looking at something called NFDump. NFDump has two components. It's got the NetFlow capture daemon, NFCapD, and it's got NFDump command line tool to take these exported flows and make them human readable. The slide shows the architecture. We've got the router exporting flow records. NFCapD is the daemon that captures these and writes them to flat files. And then we've got NFDump, which is the command line that displays these captured flow records. NFDump is free and open source. It runs on the collector itself. NFCapD listens for incoming flow records and writes them to disk. And typically it will start a new file every five minutes. NFDump reads the files and turns them into human readable output. NFDump has command line options to filter and aggregate the flows. For analyzing the flows, we use something called NFSEN or NetFlow Sensor. It's a companion of NFDump. NFSEN is basically a web graphical user interface making it easier for the network administrator to see what's going on with the flows in the network. It creates round-robin database graphs of traffic totals. It will let you zoom in to a time of interest and do NetFlow dump analysis on that era. NFSEN will also manage NFCAPD instances for you. So you can run multiple NFCAPD instances for listening to flows from multiple routers. For example, you may capture flows from your campus core router and your border router. If you have a redundant core and redundant border, you probably have two border routers and two core routers you're going to capture flows from. NFSEN has plugins available for it, like the popular port tracker, as well as SurfMap, and many others contributed by the community. The slide shows the NFSEN architecture. We have the router exporting flow records. NFSEN manages NFCAPD, which produces the flat files. NFSEN will take these flat files and categorize them according to whether it's TCP or UDP or ICMP or other. And then it can produce graphs or combine all of these graphs as an overall view of the traffic flow in the network. There are some points to note about NFSEN. Every five minutes, NFCAPD starts a new file, and NFSEN processes the previous one. So what you see in the NFSEN graph is what happened up to five minutes ago. Each graph point covers five minutes. The graph shows you the total of selected traffic in that five-minute period. To get more detailed information on the individual flows in that period, the GUI lets you drill down using NFDump. NFSEN has also got a concept of profiles and channels. A channel identifies a type of traffic to graph, and a profile is a collection of channels which can be shown together. You can create your own profiles and channels, and hence graphs. For example, you might want to produce one of HTTP traffic, another of HTTPS, another one of SMTP, and so on. Or you could monitor traffic to and from the science department, for example. And you can then use filters to define the traffic of interest in the network. The slide shows an example of how you might set up profiles and channels. We've set up a profile here with five different channels. One channel of HTTP, another one of HTTPS, another one of SMTP, another one of POP3, and another one with IMAP. And we've gathered all these together to produce a graph with different colors showing the traffic levels of each particular channel.